Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today I have a treat to share with you. I went out just for a few hours this past Sunday, not a long haul at all. I went out from 9 a.m. to uh, I believe 2 p.m., uh, maybe a little later, 3 p.m., something like that. And I didn't just have an okay haul, I didn't just have a good haul, I didn't even just have a great haul. I had the single best haul that I've ever had from garage sale picking so far. It was unbelievable. There was so much stuff. There was a big community-wide uh, garage sale. Supposedly 150 families were participating and uh, I, only, I don't even know how many I made it to. Not even close to that. But I did unbelievably. There's just so much stuff both in quality and quantity that uh, it's going to take me a few videos to get through all of it. So what I'm going to try and do is do all of the jewelry and scrap in one video. Then in the next video I'm going to do coins. And then the final video I'll do video games and other stuff. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into uh, my finds. So we'll start with the silver. Over here, we have this really nice marcasite and um, uh, semi-precious stone uh, heart pendant. It's really nice. Good detail, clean, good condition, with long chain. And if uh, we weigh it up on the uh, scale over here, you can see that it weighs just about 14 grams. So let's say you take a couple grams off for the stones. Uh, so let's say it's even just even if it was 10 grams, uh, that's still a great profit. I only paid a dollar for it. Um, so I'm probably going to try and sell this as jewelry. It's really nice. Uh, here's my time to uh, plug my sales. Like I say in every video, any of this jewelry that you see, if you are interested in it, PM me and I'd be more than happy to sell it to you. I've had a few uh, really good interactions on, on uh, YouTube uh, with selling uh, jewelry. Uh, so if you're interested in something, tell me what it is and make me an offer. So without uh, further ado, I'll move on. I also got this chain, just a plain little chain, weighs a couple grams, and these two Jewish pendants. Over here there's a Star of David, and over here there's a mezuzah with a little menorah on the bottom. Um, this one's marked with something, I can't quite make it out, but it definitely has a mark. It might say um, there's a zero there and maybe half of a five, so it might have been like 850 or 800 silver. And this one says E Sterling. Uh, I'm not really sure what the E is for, but I tested it and it is uh, Sterling, so uh, maybe it's the maker's mark or something. So those also weigh a couple grams. Uh, I paid two dollars for the chain and the two ornaments. Over here, just a typical, you know, your typical bracelet and uh, some chains, just these random chains here. I paid uh, $2 for the three of them. They weigh a bunch of grams, nothing crazy, maybe 10 or 12 grams altogether. Uh, a little necklace with some mica in it, uh, or some other stone that appears to be mica. Uh, also weighs a couple grams. Um, this was in an interesting lot. Everything you see here, plus gold, which I'll get to, I bought from this lady who claimed that she just wanted to get rid of her stuff. It was unbelievable. I've never had to haggle in the opposite direction. She said to me, I, ha I said, do you have any jewelry? She said, I do have some, but it's all junk. And I said, well, can I take a look at it anyway? She goes, it's junk, but if you want, you're more than welcome. So I go into her house. She lets me in, and uh, we start going through her jewelry. Most of it was silver or gold. And I said to her, I said, as much as I want to just... Uh, pay you nothing for this stuff. I can't in good conscience tell you that uh, this stuff isn't gold and silver. It is. And she said, I don't care. I want to get rid of it. I don't care about it. And I said, well, what do you want for it? And she said, I really don't care. 20 bucks. And I said, $20. This stuff is worth significantly more than 20 bucks. And she said, I just don't care. Uh, fine. Give me uh, 25 bucks. I said, let me give you some more. She said, well, what's in your pocket? And I had a lot of money in my car, but I only had 45 bucks in my pocket, and I said, 45. She said, good, 45. And at that point, even though I made way more off of the stuff uh, than $45, you know, I still, at that point, I just accepted it. 
Uh, there's only so much you can push uh, for somebody to take your money. But let me show you what I got. Just a little weird looking ring with some gems uh, on the side, sterling silver. Now I tested everything in an inconspicuous spot so it can still be worn and sold as jewelry but uh, I am sure that everything here is indeed silver. We got a couple little uh, Celtic earrings and a pendant with a little stone in the middle. Weighs a couple of grams. This bracelet is really cool. It's got like, um, you can't really see it in the video, but it's got kind of like a metallic, um, sort of gray graphite looking stone. It's a pretty nice bracelet. Um, and that was in there too. Little ring, nothing special, a little gem in there. An antique brooch. Um, not really sure. Uh, I think it's got enamel and some mother of pearl. Uh, everything here has some marking on it, but I'm not going to go through all that. And then my two favorite of the silver pieces that came out of that lot were this. It's a little flower basket brooch with uh, a couple pearls on it, uh, saltwater pearls. And they're really, really nice. This, it's made really well. It's got a, you know, a 925 marking right over there. And uh, it's just a really nice little piece. I'm definitely not going to scrap that. I'm going to try and sell it uh, unless a family member of mine uh, claims it first. And then finally, another little piece that I like. Not quite sure why I like it so much, but it's some sort of little like lamp or purse or bottle, like a little flask pendant. Um, it's got a little piece of amber in the in the cork part. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. It's not a anything particularly special, I just happen to like it for some reason. So, I may scrap it, I may keep it, I don't know. But that's it for the silver. On to the gold. I got so much gold compared to what I normally get. It's unbelievable. I'm just going to move up my lights a little bit, move some of that silver out of the way. I'm trying to do a little bit better lighting in my videos. Uh, I don't think I've succeeded, but We'll see. Anyway, moving on. So I went to one garage sale and uh, I asked her if she had any jewelry and uh, she said I have a f you know a few things but I don't really want to sell anything. And I said okay and uh, we just started talking a little bit more about other things. She had coins. I looked at them and uh, she didn't want to, she didn't have anything worth selling. And then she said you know what um, I do have some jewelry that I could sell. So she brings out just a few earrings. Nothing special, but hey, gold is gold. Two little uh, braided hoop earrings. Two other little uh, earrings over there, and then one crushed earring. She had the other one and wanted to keep it because she said, uh, which was pretty funny, she said, she was about 60, 70, 65 years old, she said, when I had, I have uh, three pierced ears. I have uh, one, on, one on one ear and two on the other. She said, now everybody has that, but when I had that uh, back in the day, it was considered revolutionary. Uh, it was kind of funny. And uh, she said that's why she's gonna keep the single earring that wasn't broken. Um, but anyway, this is all 14 karat gold. Uh, we can, let's weigh it up and see how I did. That's 0.5 grams, 0.9 grams, and 1.4 grams of gold. Um, and uh, yeah, I did fairly well on that. Next, I got from this guy, I bought, uh, I'll show, I bought some other interesting stuff, which I'll show you in the coin section. But I bought just this little uh, piece of a gold chain. It's not marked, but I was fairly confident that it was gold. Um, and uh, just by the style of the clasp, by the feel, and by the look of the metal, uh, I was pretty sure that it was, it was indeed gold. You can check that out. That's a pretty common clasp for uh, real jewelry. I have seen it on some fake stuff, but I was willing to take my chances. Uh, I had it in a lot of a few different things. This was one of them, and uh, I bought something else that was interesting. Uh, one of those silver pieces was actually from him, too. And I bought this. It's a uh, nautical themed Jesus pendant. 
and on the back it says 14K, which is the generic 14K stamp, and I was a little wary because it doesn't look like it's particularly well made, but then it had this stamp, this K something, and uh, I just figured, you know, I would take a shot at it. The guy said it has 14K marked on it. He was an old guy selling a lot of militaria, and uh, he said for this, a couple of those silver things, um, and this like little broken chain, uh, he wanted $22. So I figured, I was pretty confident that this gold piece was real and would cover that, so, and if this was real, then I would do unbelievably. Turns out, I tested it, not real, but this certainly covers my loss. It's three grams of 14 karat gold, so I'm happy with that. Next, I went to a garage sale and I got just a, uh, one of those um, fresh salt, uh, freshwater pearl bracelets that I've had in other videos and other people I've seen had, and they've got the little beads between them. They were broken and missing a few beads, but she only wanted a quarter for it. So for the clasp and two beads, which weighs like maybe 0.3 grams, you know, it's still worth a quarter. It's 14 karat gold. This other lady um, had these two earrings out, um, and we were chatting, and I'd bought some other stuff from her. And she asked me if they were gold, and I said yes. Uh, and I said uh, I'd like to buy them, with, along with like a couple of little silver pieces. Those three random bracelets were there. And she said, I said, how much do you want for them? She said a dollar. And uh, I paid a dollar for each of those and the bracelets. And uh, I said, also, I buy gold by weight if you have anything. And she said no. But because it was a community garage sale, I went to three other sales on her block. And uh, on my way back, she pulled me over and said, you know what, I do have a, a pair of earrings that I'd like to sell you uh, if you'd weigh them. Uh, so it was these two. Uh, it's nothing, I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of nice. It's not my style, but it's two earrings. They're marked 14K. I tested them, and uh, I paid her $39 for them. And they weigh 3.2 grams. So I did pretty well on that. Uh, I'm happy with that. Um, and I'll probably scrap them. Next thing, I went to a garage sale, and there were there was somebody picking through the jewelry already, and I was pretty upset because it looked like pretty good stuff. And there were these two earrings. They had backs on them, but the backs were fake. And I said these. I thought these looked like gold. I've seen similar designs with this like a uh, little knot shape, and there was no marking, but there was like an indent on the back. Uh, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up. Let's see. Yeah, a little indent, but no numbers. So I asked them how much it was. The lady said, um, that's gold. Uh, how does $6 sound? And I wanted this thing too, because this uh, single earring looked like gold to me. The way I could tell is there was a little dent in the little ball on top, and it just had that dent that sometimes gold can get, because it's such a soft metal. Uh, and she didn't have the other one. But I bought this and these two for her asking price of $6. Uh, let's see how I did on that. Once again, we go to the scale. And it weighs 1.2 grams. So 1.2 grams of 14 karat gold for six bucks is pretty darn good. So I was happy about that. Now, remember that bag of jewelry that I put together for $45 from that woman who would not take any more money from me? I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that was in there. Unbelievable. I would have paid significantly more if she would have let me weigh it. And she said no. She just said she wanted to get rid of it. So this was the first item. Uh, it's a little uh, charm with three what I assume are diamond chips and uh, some sort of stone. It's kind of like, looks like uh, there's some rainbowy mica in there. I don't know what kind of stone it is. But if you look at the back, Maybe you can see. It's very tough to see on this one because it's sort of hiding in a corner. But it does say 10K. And I tested it and it is indeed 10 karat gold. So that's a couple grams of 10 karat gold. Um, you know, and that's, that was in there. Next, there were one, two, three, 14 karat gold chains in that bag. All have the uh, 
you know, very obvious uh, markings of uh, typical of real 14 karat gold jewelry, uh, stamped with the number 585. Uh, this one's a little smaller. Yeah, it's not necessary to see the marking on that. Over here, you can see an even smaller on the actual little uh, lobster claw. It also says 585, and those weigh, I think, like, let's see. Let's see how much those weigh altogether. That's a heavy one. Yeah, that's 4.8 grams of 14 karat gold. So that's pretty nice. And then there were just some odds and ends. Right over here, just one random dented earring. Another earring that had a little stone on it. Mismatched. And a... Uh, Pretty cool looking dolphin earring, a uh, little hoop earring, also 14 karat gold. There was only one of these, um, but you know, nice piece of 14 karat gold. So if you look all together, I've got a really nice little pile of gold here. And I really didn't spend very much on it, thanks to this uh, angelic lady who would not take any more money from me. That's really nice. And then I'm going to end with one last piece of gold. This ring. This ring was in that bag from the lady who wouldn't take any more money. And it is really nice. This I have to get appraised or checked out by a jeweler or something. Because I don't know what it, what it is. And I don't know how much it's worth. But I have a pretty good feeling that it's worth significantly more than melt. Let's take a look at it. I learned um, from uh, one of my one of the people I subscribe to that any ring or earring or piece of jewelry that has little diamonds and little gems, if you want to know the good quality ones, you look at the back and you see if the backs are open, and they are. I can't remember the uh, the guy's. Um, uh, YouTube handle, but I'll put it in my uh, description, a link to his videos, because uh, he does a lot of this jewelry stuff and he knows a fair amount more than just the, uh, the scrap stuff. So you can see all these things are open backed, so that implies that it has good quality. If you look here, it says 14K585, and then on the other side it has the maker's mark. It says copyright 92FM. Now, I don't know what that means. I couldn't find any information on that maker, but it's really a, a huge ring. You can see that, I think it's an emerald, that the emerald's real because it's got some flaws in there. It's not, uh, you know, an injected quartz or anything like that. Um, if any of you guys know anything about this or any of the other jewelry that I showed you, uh, please, please comment. Uh, if you have questions about anything, please comment. Maybe I'll be able to answer it. But anyway, I'll leave you with this, and uh, we'll go on to the next section, which is coins. Thank you. So on to part two.